early August, uh, we got a number of complaints from uh, Tim Carroll, the manager of Sodexo. And in particular, one day he actually stopped by here and said, you know, if there's anything you can do about speeding cars going around the corner of Founders where the dumpster is, he said, within the last two hours, I almost got hit twice. I think the speed bumps are a drastic change to the layout of the campus. I think that some of them are necessary due to the speeds that people drive throughout campus, but I think that because there's so many of them and because they're so high for my vehicle in particular. So I was driving around campus and I was going over a speed bump and my car is like old to begin with and when I went over it, I heard it like hit the bottom of my car and when I kept driving it sounded, it was like really loud and it sounded like I was driving a go-kart. And then I pulled over and I looked at my muffler and it was like falling off. So then I had to get it towed the next day. I have a small car, I have like a Honda Civic. When I go over it, it like literally, like no matter what I do, like I bottom out. Cause the, like the speed ones are so big and my car's so small. And um, my splash panel on my car completely fell off. So I had to put that back on. My roommate's car, she has a night, she just got a Nissan Rogue. She went over a speed bump and um, her hubcap fell off. The speed bumps on the main entrance really distract you from the view because it's like, like the view is so nice, but you're just constantly looking for speed bumps that you don't even really get to see the scenery. What I said to public safety is, we'll do the humps. If that doesn't work, like at that intersection, we're going to post a public safety officer to direct traffic because somebody's going to get hit. You know, I mean, it, it's uh, it sounds kind of comical, but I'm looking at it as it's a as a liability.